Hello everyone, Lost One Triple X here with another mod spotlight for Thermal Expansion 3, this time covering the Tesseract. I've set a few things up here to demonstrate how they work. We have a resonant energy cell here filled with redstone flux, a portable tank filled with water, and a strong box filled with levers. Unlike Thermal Expansion 2, you only require one Tesseract now to do all items, whereas before you would have a separate one for items, liquids, and energy. And we'll place one down here and we'll place one down over here and go into the GUI. Now as you see on the right hand side here you have your security tab. Currently the Tesseract is set to public access. That means that anyone can access the frequencies that this Tesseract is pumping to or from. Um, unless you have a shared power source or something like that I highly recommend you don't use this in multiplayer. You have the restricted tab which means only people in your COFH friends list can access the Tesseract although they won't be able to access your private um, frequencies, they can just pick up and move around the your own tesseracts. And then you have the final tab, which is owner only. This will bring up your full list of frequencies that no one else has access to, so they are entirely private. I will leave this as public access for the time being. Now to set up a frequency, basically type the name in here, and then give it a frequency number, nice and simple. And if you click Save Frequency, it'll add it to this list here. So whenever you place a Tesseract, go to Public Access, you'll have the available frequencies already listed, so you don't need to remember their names. And if you set the frequency, it will show that this is now set to Frequency 5 Spotlight, like so. The next tab is the Redstone Control tab, where you can set how the Tesseract reacts to redstone signals. So if we were to place a red, give it a redstone signal now, that'll switch the Tesseract off. We don't want to do that though. And then the final tab is the configurations tab where you can set whether it's send, receive, etc. for each different item. This is the item mode, the fluid mode and the energy mode. Now the various modes you can set it up to is receive only which is what we want these ones to be. But you also have send and receive so items can move through and from these, these tesseracts. You have blocked which means that these items cannot be sent through the tesseract. You have send only, so this tesseract can't receive any longer, or back to receive only, which we wanted this one set up to. Now we're going to place these down, because we have all of these empty containers here that we wish to fill up. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Item duct, there we go. Brilliant. I better change this there, like so. Okay, to the other tesseract. We want to set this one up to transport everything. So as you can see, Spotlight is already in the um, list of frequencies, so click that and set the frequency. And if we go over to the Configurations tab and set this to Send, same with these ones. Hook all of these up together. And change that and give it a lever. Okay, so if we turn all of these on, if we go into the configuration for the cell, we want the bottom to be an output, so that should be sending through the tesseract. There we go, transporting across here to this one, and it's filling up this cell nicely. And if we right click with the crescent hammer on the tank, we'll set that to send. Water's disappeared over there. The same with this uh, strong box, give it a redstone signal, and it'll start pumping items, which we should see coming through there. Awesome. They really are that simple to set up, and they also pump in between dimensions, so the Nether or Twilight Forest or a Mistcraft Age. And that pretty much covers Tesseracts. As always, please feel free to leave questions below, and I shall do my best to answer them for you. Check out the video description for a link to the mods page, and check out the playlist for more items and blocks from Thermal Expansion 3. Likes, shares, and subscribers are always welcome. Have fun, and take it easy, guys.